What up world, it's me, Blueberry Sky. Blueberry is my new elven druid in the brand new D&D podcast, Cast Party, where a cast and crew of a Hollywood film set is magically transported into the world of Dungeons and Dragons. And Blueberry is this super vegan, uh, animal-loving environmentalist actress who gets thrust into the world of D&D. And Blueberry becomes an actual elf with actual druid powers and I don't want to give it all away, so let's just throw it on over to a little roleplay video using a POV video created by my friend Ginny D. Go check her out. Links are all in the description. So links to Ginny and links to Cast Party are all in the description down below. So on with the video. Whoa! Welcome back to the world of the living. I... Uh... What? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You weren't dead. It's just a figure of speech. Some figure of speech? That was quite a look. Have you been dead before? Uh, no. Of course not. Well, don't worry. You were just unconscious. You are injured, though. Took an arrow in the battle. Luckily, didn't hit anything vital. What? Oh, no, don't look down. You don't need to see all that blood. Just look at me. What's your name? I'm Blueberry Sky. That's a unique one. Where are you from? I'm from Santa Monica. Wow, you're a long way from home. Ugh, tell me about it. Do you ever miss it? Yeah, like pretty much every second of every day, although the nature out here has been really refreshing. Ever plan on going back? Yes, we're trying so hard to get home, but our friend Kingsley is the one who read the spell that accidentally transported us here, and he was kidnapped, so like, we don't even know how to get back. I'm Elowen, by the way, but you can call me Ellie, I don't mind. Oh my god, my best friend growing up was named Ellie. Do you have any nicknames? Yeah, my friends call me Blue, but I mean, that's really it. Alright, seems like you might have hit your head when you went down. <sighs> yeah. Can you follow my finger with your eyes? Very good. Any nausea? No. Do you know what day it is? I don't even know how your calendar works, like... Do you have Tuesdays? Tell me, uh, your favorite animal. Oh my god, that's like asking me to pick my favorite child. I love all of Earth's creatures equally. Or at Fundrea, wherever we are. All of the universe's creatures, you know? Okay, you seem fine. Hope you don't like this shirt, because uh, I need to get a look at what is going on down there. Oh, really? Aww. Yeah, that is beyond repair. Do you have a lot more clothes at home, or is this kind of it? Well, yeah, I have like a hundred square foot closet at home, but this is all I have here. Wow, that is quite a nasty scar. How'd you get that one? I got my appendix out when I was 12. Yeah, I'll bet you tell that story at parties. Uh, not really. Well, you're gonna get to add another story to the list after today. You are gonna be fine. We just gotta get that arrow out of there. You're in good hands. I only lose half my patience. Sorry, joke. <sighs> my dark sense of humor sometimes makes for poor bedside manner. Are you a jokester too, or more of a serious type? I mean, yeah, I like to joke. I like to have fun. I like to, you know, throw pranks on my friends. Okay, this might hurt. Okay. One, <laughs> two, stop, stop squirming. Tell me about, uh, the last great meal you had. Oh my god, the night before we came here, I went to this vegan place in Venice called Plant Food and Wine, and they had this amazing avocado tikka, and this heirloom tomato and zucchini lasagna, and it was all vegan and amazing, and there was like pear ice cream at the end. Mmm, that sounds <laughs> delicious. Are you a picky eater, or... Will you just kind of eat anything? I mean, as long as it's 100% vegan and organic and locally grown, I'm not too picky. Ow! <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, you're doing great. I know, I'm sorry. That probably hurt. How well do you deal with pain normally? <sighs> with painkillers? Never mind. Don't think about that. Think about, uh, your party. I noticed you came in here with a few others. That must be nice. Do you enjoy being part of a group like that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really thrive in teamwork. Oh. Can you keep pressure on this, please? Thank you. 
They seem like a really nice bunch. All safe, by the way. <sighs> Two of them are getting patched up too. Any party members in particular you were real worried about? Uh, I mean, t t Jet's kind of cute if that's what you're talking about. It's good to have people you can rely on, but we all need some privacy too. Any secrets you're keeping from your party? No, I don't think so. I mean, I really believe in honesty and clear communication and openly speaking your feelings and your truth, you know? You know, there was a time when I thought I wanted to do adventuring on my own. Never got the guts to actually do it. Now I'm too old. Turned 90 last week. 90? Girl! I would rather drop dead right here than give up my mattress for a bedroll under a tree. Do you like traveling all the time or do you just put up with it? I mean, I love traveling and seeing the world, but not like this. Not with an arrow in my belly. Like what the... I just want to go home and like this might then sting, by the travel way. my world, you know? If I had to camp outside, I would be up all night worrying. I just stitched somebody up yesterday who woke up with a blade at his throat. Good old bandit alarm clock. Oh my god. Are you an insomniac like me or are you one of those lucky bastards who can just sleep anywhere? I mean, I used to be able to sleep anywhere because I had to learn how to do that because I was on set all day, you know? But now I don't even sleep. I just meditate. It's crazy. Me, the older I get, harder it is to sleep. I feel like I lose an hour every decade. Seems unfair, considering that I feel more tired now than ever. I still don't understand how you can be 90. How old are you? I'm 24. You're doing great, by the way. Just stay still. Almost done. <sighs> yeah, okay. Adventuring's a bit of a young person's game, don't you think? Are you worried about how things will change when you're older? Uh, no, I want to be back home before I'm older. Well, maybe when the time comes, you can try something that is a little less dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I like doing my own stunts, but this has been ridiculous. You have any special talents or fun hobbies you could pay the bills with if you sheathed your sword for good? Well, I wouldn't call acting a hobby, but that's what pays the bills. And we are done. Try to take it easy for a few days. Don't get it wet. After about a week, you'll need to take the stitches out. Is there somebody you'd trust to help you with that, or you more of a do-it-yourself type? Yeah, I don't know how handy the guys could be with the thread, so I'll probably just have to do it myself. Well, in the future, do me a favor and try not to get shot by any more arrows. I'm sure you are a great warrior. Just try to be a little bit less of a great target. Ugh, trust me, I will. Ellie, you done over there? Well, this has been a pleasure, but I have to go lend a hand for an amputation. No pun intended, it's a leg we're removing. It was nice to meet you. I hope we never have to do this again. Yeah, <laughs> same here. Thank you, Ellie. Has anyone seen my bone saw? Thanks so much for watching everybody and thank you Ginny for making that video and allowing me to use it in this one. Again, links to her video and her channel are in the description down below, along with the links to Cast Party so you can keep up with Blueberry's adventures with the rest of her cast and crew. And um, thanks for watching, subscribe if you made it this far, you might as well, and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye! Oh, up uh, excuse me, sir, can you- we- we need help. Our- our friend's unconscious and he's not- uh, he's not responding to anything and we don't really know where we are and we just need help. What do you mean you don't know where you are? Where are we? For, first we were in this building and then there was wind and now we're just on this freaking dirt road and I'm freaking out and I don't know what's going on. Of course- of course there's wind, you're outside. No, the wind was inside! We need yo, help! Yo, yo, Sebastian, settle down, settle down. Are we in England? What's England? I mean, where are you from? Your accent is, like, British, right? I mean, down the road is a farm. Where are we? Yo, I don't want to pussyfoot around this. Did we get abducted? Wait, where did you come from? Get, get the- why are you blocking our road? We're trying to get to town! Are, are we still in L.A.? L L.A.? L.A., Los Angeles. I don't know what that is. What? Are you like Amish or something?